<laughs> Ryan talked about the fact that he's going to be cheering at the Powder Puff football game. <laughs> So we're kind of going to do half of Christmas vacation up there and then half of Christmas vacation down here and then go on a cruise. <laughs> yes, I'm basically moving Christmas. Here we go. <laughs> Everybody, it is Tuesday morning. Ryan's getting ready to go to school. Today is Santa versus Grinch Day at school. I have Christmas Spirit Week, and as part of SGA, we the ones that put it on. Uh -huh. So it's Santa versus Grinch Day. Which you know, is probably the hardest to dress up for, but <laughs> we could um, fill that with like like paper so it stands straight up. Would you like that? No. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right then. What was yesterday's theme? That wasn't a theme. It was just the powder puff practice. Oh, okay. Is there a theme tomorrow? Mm hmm. What's that one? Snow sports day. Oh. Ski goggles. Do you have them? Road, I don't know. Dude, if you would have asked me, I could have brought him from Maryland. It's, Ryan is a bit of a last minute guy. He literally just um, called me on the phone because I was sleeping. At about 6.45, and he leaves like, at Sunday. He's like, hey. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how long did you know it was Grinch versus Santa Day? When did you find that out? A couple Last weeks week. ago? Last week? Yeah. Okay, good. And um, Snow Sports Day, I could have brought something home for you. I feel like we do have um, cockles here, though. I don't know. Right. Let me see if I can help you out with that, okay? All right. Enjoy your day at school. I cannot wait for Powder Puff tonight. I'm very excited to see you chair. today you guys it's December 12th today and I just got back yesterday from flying um, and I am going back up to Baltimore tonight so I was only able to come home for one night but that's okay what I did is I smushed all of my work into the first um, two weeks two and a half weeks of December so I could have the last two and a half or two weeks off of December because of Christmas and being able to go on our New Year's cruise so I was able to work my schedule so that I could trade around and um, sometimes you pay like you pay to to you give people um, money to take your shift or whatever, right? So it's called putting putting money on it. <laughs> so I put money on um, my New Year's one, and then I gave away my Christmas one, and then um, and now so I work in the whole first couple weeks of December. Anyway, that being said, we were trying to decide as a family. Okay, do we want to spend Christmas in Maryland or do we want to spend Christmas in Florida? Um, and we've you know the past. I don't know, ever since the kids have been born, we've always spent Christmas in Maryland and we have these traditions that we love and they include our Christmas Eve tradition and going out to dinner with our friends and then we and then we go to church and then we come home and open presents and then the next morning we're in our house. And anyway, the kids just, um, and then last year we were down here for Christmas, which was delightful because we got to see our family more at the time and we had our tree up here for the first time. But this year the kids wanted to go back to Maryland and I'm I'm up for it, especially because with flying, we can just sort of fly back and forth whenever there's space available. And they wanted to see their friends um, from Maryland that they hadn't seen in a while. So we're kind of going to do half of Christmas vacation up there and then half of Christmas vacation down here and then go on a cruise. <laughs> so the, the half that we're doing up there is going to be um, between, well, oh, on, this gets very complicated. I'm flying up now to work. This weekend, um, the, everybody's meeting, we're all gonna fly to Rochester to visit Mike's family for Christmas. Then after that, Mike and Ryan come back down here because Ryan has to finish school, but Brennan, Katie and I go to Maryland so we can see our friends there and I'm gonna be working. And then it's Christmas, so Ryan and Mike will fly back up for Christmas and uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And then we'll come back down here because our family is down here, that my family is down here celebrating. But anyway, that being said, I have so much coordination that I need to do. First of all, I need to let Santa know that we're gonna be up there. So that's a big deal. Second of all, um, and we kind of just finalized this decision a couple of days ago, so I have a lot of stuff I need to move. So I have like all the clothes for my Christmas and Christmas parties and Christmas day and going to Rochester, like all that. So I have to pack for two and a half weeks because I'm going to be gone for two and a half weeks, um, including 
Christmas. So I have clothes for that. I have, that's my suitcase for clothes for work. And then I'm realizing, well, what things do I need to bring that we absolutely have to have for Christmas? Cause we did decorate this house here um, and we decorated it up there, but the things we absolutely have to have, we have to have our stockings. So we're bringing those. We have to have this pan cause this is what I make Christmas bread in. We have to have our tree skirt or we'd like to have our tree skirt cause that's a traditional tree skirt that says our name on it. So those things, I have gift wrap I've already purchased. I don't know if I can fly this, so I might return that and then buy it again up there. And then, you know, some Christmas presents that we've already purchased. So all kinds of stuff that we're trying to figure out, like, what are we going to be up there? And like, oh my gosh, we didn't have the blocks. I almost forgot the stockings. Can you imagine? I don't want to go get new stockings. You have to have stockings. So I'm coordinating that now. I literally have 24 hours to do it and that. 24 hours started yesterday because I go back up. I have to leave for the airport around five and I'm trying to decide if I'm going to pack another suitcase with all this stuff in it or if I'm going to, if, if it all fit or if I'm going to put it in a box and send it. That would be so much easier than suitcase because now I'll be rolling two suitcases. It's kind of crazy. Anyway, I'm trying to figure all that out today and I have to go do some shopping and some errands in between. Um, my work last week and my work over the next couple weeks. So stay with me. I will keep you updated on what's going on. I'm doing laundry, sort of doing the whole turnover, the whole switch over. All right. You guys saw the last video we did. We, um, t Ryan talked about the fact that he's going to be cheering at the Powder Puff football game. This is the second to last week before Christmas at school and they're doing all kinds of fun events and it's Powder Puff is one of them. So he learned cheers and all that stuff. So we are headed to the game right now. We're tailgating. We got some sub sub sandwiches and some popcorn and we're gonna tailgate before the game. Now the only thing is I have to leave to go to my flight to go back to Baltimore. So I'm actually not gonna be able to see any of the game or even any of Ryan cheering. But Mike's gonna be able to see Ryan cheering. I got you, Joe. Thank you very much. Ryan is at home doing his homework now. He's gonna come to the game a little bit later with his buddies. And I cannot wait to see the video. So send it to me right after you take it, okay? It's gonna be fun. Oh my gosh. So stay tuned to watch Ryan cheering. And apparently he learned a dance too. The dance team taught them a dance. So we'll see. It's gonna be all the all the boys are cheering while the girls play. So um I'm so sad I'm not gonna be able to see it. Sorry. But I will. Yeah. I'll see it like you guys see it though. That's awesome, right? Alright, time to go to the airport. Woo! All right, you guys, I did my shopping today. I told you I was going shopping and sort of have to put a bunch of stuff together. So this is what I have. I'll show it to you when we get out there if I remember. That's my box. Look, Micah has it um, strapped in. There's some Christmas presents in there. That is my suitcase that has my, the black one, it has all my work stuff. And then the suitcase, is there a suitcase under it? Wait, where's my other suitcase? Oh, this is my oh, other suitcase. Oh my gosh. And this is full of Christmas presents and like Christmas stuff, like our stockings and our tree skirt, all that stuff. So they will get it all together. So the good news is actually the second best thing about Southwest Airlines, besides the number one thing, which is our flight attendants, <laughs> is that two bags fly free. So I'm gonna check two bags and then I'm gonna carry um, my other bag on and try to finagle all that stuff when we get there. <laughs> yeah, so I'm basically moving Christmas. Here we go. <laughs> What? Hi, there's Ryan. Hey. All right, here's the fit for tonight. Um, cheering for the blue team. We got the blue swim trunks. There's, they got us these little pom poms. It's gonna be fun. Do you see the stun? No. I'm a base. Yeah, no. You hit a huge stun. Okay. My team's playing right now, though. So I love it. All right, go back at it. Good luck. <laughs> hey, Ryan. What's the trick to a stunt? Uh, I'm the base, so you really just gotta just, just stay strong. Wide base. Uh huh. Wide base. Wide base. This mug is not light. <laughs> Ready? Uh huh. Three, two, one, up, and up, up. <laughs> and cheer! <laughs> <laughs> nice job! Landing, but we'll get good job, gentlemen. Thank you. Nice work. Is that a good landing or what? Uh huh. <laughs> Ryan's having such a blast during his senior year, and of course, this being 
sort of like a spirit week before Christmas. I am so bummed that I wasn't able to see this, but thank you so much, Mike, for filming it. I'm so proud of Ryan. Like, I was thinking maybe he should be a college cheerleader. Look at, like, that's a pretty good jump. I can't remember what you call it. Do you call it a straddle jump? And then the other one's called like a, I don't even know what it's called, like a, a Liberty, I, I don't even know. Anyway, um, so this is the Powder Puff game, and so our friend Charlie, who's a girl, so she is playing Powder Puff football, and all the guys are cheering, and these are the kind of things that I miss when I'm flying, but I'm very much looking forward to the whole family being together and um, oh. me taking some time off at the end of summer. All right, so here we go. safe and sound in Maryland. Happy to be here. I am so excited for when Brennan, Katie, Ryan, and Mike are all here as well. It is going to be so much fun and just like old times. So I'm going through meticulously making sure that all the decorations are here. I actually, I think I'm going to buy a Christmas tree off of Facebook Marketplace tomorrow. So for the very first time ever, we're going to have an artificial Christmas tree up here. It is okay. Everybody calm down. <laughs> I'm going to ease my family into it, but it's going to be just fine. So I think I'm going to get it tomorrow, and then I'll probably put it up, and then maybe I'll wait for everybody to come home to decorate it. I think that's what we'll do. It's not like we have any of our decorations or ornaments here. They're all still in Florida. Um, and I wasn't going to fly those up, but um, but it's okay. We'll just put reg probably just regular colored bulbs on it. It'll be a pretty generic Christmas tree, but you guys have to let me know what you think. Anyway, it was great. Um, t I talked to Ryan after his cheerleading episode, but um, I did not get a chance to see it. Mike was gonna upload that video for me, but um, I, yeah, I don't think he did yet, I just checked. Anyway, I'll look forward to seeing that, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, because we would have put it in already. So thank you so much for watching today. What made me happy today was definitely um, seeing Ryan and like knowing that he was doing something that he absolutely loved, and that was awesome. So you guys, um, come on, what made you guys happy today? And we will see you tomorrow, stay tuned.